Welcome back. You're watching Sleep Better TV. I'm Scott Drake. My guest is Dr. Harvey Ryder, who practices dentistry in Las Cruces, New Mexico. Uh, Dr. Ryder, I'm sure you get this question all the time. Uh, what is the best way to replace a missing tooth? Well, you know, the ideal way to replace a missing tooth is uh, with a dental implant today. Now, factors taken into consideration is that it's best to replace the tooth as soon as soon thereafter that you've lost the tooth because what happens once you lose the tooth the bone starts disappearing going away and the implant what holds the implant it, it is holds the implant in is the bone so you need to have the, enough bone to put the implant in so you want to get it, your tooth replaced as soon as possible uh, sometimes uh, when there's not enough bone and teeth have been missing for years uh, which is pretty common uh, you can still place the implant, but a lot of times you've got to graft extra bone uh, on, onto your own bone. And so that, that's a procedure that's commonly done today, too. So it all depends on, on the individual situation, if that bone graft, if, if the bone graft can be done or the bone graft cannot be done. But, you know, under I, ideal conditions, if you can put an implant in, that's the way I'd go. Can you talk again about some of the, uh, some of the treatment options here in replacing teeth, like the difference between a fixed bridge and an implant? The other way to replace the teeth is with a, it's called a fixed bridge or a permanent bridge or a cemented bridge. And basically to do that, let's say you're missing um, one tooth. What you do is you take a, a tooth on either side of it, assuming the teeth are healthy, uh, and you uh, prepare those teeth in a way that you're doing a single crown. So you've got to reduce the size of the, uh, they're called anchor teeth. Uh, you reduce the size and then you make a, the lab will make a, a, a device. Um, it's like a, a cap on the tooth on either side and one in the middle, and it's all made in one piece and gets cemented on, and it looks, it looks very normal. It looks very natural. Um, the only time I would, uh, but you know, what you need to do to do that, you gotta prepare the teeth on the side, so you, you are, in a way, harming those teeth. Um, now, if the teeth already have a lot of large fillings in them, Probably the best way to go there is just with the bridge because the, the, the bridge is going to actually uh, involve putting a cap over each one of the anchor teeth. So it's actually going to strengthen the anchor teeth so you're, you'll be way ahead of the game. But if the teeth are uh, basically without fillings or with maybe just a small filling here and there, I would try to go with the implant if you can. All right, doctor, thank you. My guest, Dr. Harvey Ryder in Las Cruces, New Mexico. I'm Scott Drake and you're watching Sleep Better TV. Thank you.